So for day four, I've shown you how well recipes from the likes of the Philips Air Fryer compare to the Ninja Air Fryer Jewel Basket. We are cooking butternut squash. Butternut squash is absolutely delicious in the air fryer. You cut it into cubes and then you season it with some salt and pepper, favourite seasoning, and then use some olive oil and it's absolutely perfect. And this is, of course, out of the complete air fryer cookbook. And what we're promoting at the moment as part of our 12-part series is doing what we call an air fry temperature test. So, for day number four, we have uncomplicated butternut squash. So what we have here is we have 12 recipes that we recommend that you test to see how your air fry performs. Because what you have to remember is quite often the recipe you are following from someone is using a different air fryer to your own. So, for example, we use the, um, the Cassori air fryer, the Philips air fryer, Gourmet, Tower and Instant air fryer for the recipe testing of this cookbook. So now what we want to do is show you just how this compares to using the Jewel. So this is our butternut squash recipe. We have a lot of recipes in the cookbook with step-by-step -step photos. So as you can see, we recommend chopping first, adding to a bowl, so here's our bowl, and placing in the air fry and then air frying. And of course, we've got some chapters like this in um, many of the sections of the cookbook. So let us show you how to prepare the butternut squash and let's see how the times compare. So I've got one of my bowls out and now it's time to load it up with some butternut squash. Note that what I've done is I've purposely done some cubes that are smaller than the others so that you can see roughly what they look like once they've been cooked in the air fryer. But you can see that's the equivalent of one medium uh, butternut squash. So once you've got that in there, drizzle with olive oil. Um, about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil is perfect. Seasoning of choice. I've got some mixed herbs here, but you can use whichever ones you like. And then salt. Pepper. And then once you've got your seasonings and your oil in, the boring bit where you're mixing them with your hands and you want a really good coating of the seasoning on the butternut squash so it's like that note that this method applies to a lot of vegetables in the air fryer you can do the same thing with potatoes as well with cubes of potatoes it's just absolutely perfect so i'm just going to give my hands a quick wipe and now they're ready to go into the air fryer so using the tool uh, a good enough portion for one. If I was doing more, you could actually do two butternut squashes at once. And then what you could do is you could do the same amount in each drawer. Put it in. And then let's get the air fryer turned on. I'm doing uh, the second one here, so press for number two. And then I'm looking for the air fry button. Temperature 180 Celsius, 360 Fahrenheit, and then a cook time of 20 minutes. And then press start. And we've beeped. So let's check on that butternut squash, shall we? And let's see how well it's done. And wow, look at that. Isn't that brilliant? That's just lovely. Let's get another bit. And look, that's a bigger bit. And that is also perfectly cooked. So overall, you can see just how good butternut squash is in the air fryer. Of course, if you want it crispier, you can spray it with some olive oil at this point and then do it for another five minutes at 200 Celsius and that'll give it more of a crisp. But honestly, it's just lovely like this. Don't forget to check out the complete air fryer cookbook made from 10 years of air frying experience with lots and lots of air fry beginner recipes. 140 recipes are included and they're just so easy to follow with plenty 
of step-by-step -step instructions for all the key recipes so that you can become a master of your air fry. I know you'll love it and it's just £10 on Amazon. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter as well as following us on Pinterest and Facebook and joining our Facebook group. We are also on TikTok now so don't forget to follow us at TikTok forward slash recipethis.